right, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome. It is 8 p.m. in Kitsap County. It is February 8th, 2023. Happy birthday, G2. We are five years old. We are five. And as such, we are going to work because that's all we know how to do. Uh, so welcome. We're coming to you tonight uh, for a very special reason. Uh, let me see if I can get my camera going here as um, running two streams simultaneously. Let's see if you can see me. No, oh, let's see. All right, let me uh, do this real quick. There I am. <laughs> All right. So we're doing two things. Uh, it's always work for us, right? Just had my birthday. What I do? Work. D2 has a birthday. What do we do? Work. Work, 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 right? There's a lot to do. We got to get done. So this is the legislative session. And that means that we have a short amount of time to get things done. And one of the main things that G2 does is transportation. And with that said, uh, you hear about these House bills and these Senate bills, and we are trying to help push a bill through. And we need your help as time is running out. And I'm going to go through an exercise with you. And we are going to go ahead and email uh, the person who is uh, providing the oversight for this bill uh, to encourage uh, the advocation to get this bill through, okay? So I'm going to uh, bring folks on, and I'm not by myself tonight. Technically, I'm never by myself. You just don't always see the other people because they're constantly working. But I'm going to bring some folks on, and then we're going to go ahead and go through the exercise, okay? So I'm going to ask you to either take notes or jump on your computer. Uh, we're going to give you the language, right? You don't have to try to reinvent the wheel so that we can get this information out because it is so, so very vital and critical, okay? So like I said, I'm not doing it by myself. And I'm going to go ahead and bring on some of our team members uh, that are on. So the first person that I'm going to bring on is the president of Gather Together, Grow Together. Uh, you saw him earlier today on Tipping Points and Puzzle Pieces, Mr. Rob Dent. <laughs> Rob, how are you doing? I'm doing good. And isn't it uh, Puzzle Points or something like that? Tipping Pieces. How long is the show? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Uh, next up, we have another one of our founding board members, the uh, wife of uh, Rob Dent. And what is she? Secretary, treasurer, project manager, office manager. She's she's a you know a Swiss Army knife. I think for that's G two. That that covers it. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Dent. Stephanie, how are you doing? Well, we're so. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad to see you on here. And now uh, we don't have the whole board with us tonight. You know, some of our board uh, is working in the emergency room. One of our board members out of the state. So on we go, on we go. But we have another person with us. Now, this person you've known for a while. She's been with us almost from the very day one. She has served in so many different capacities, now currently is in her last quarter at OC, working on her externship with G2. She cooks, she consults, she advises, she brings joy and life and spirit to G2, Kendra Witten. Kendra, how are you doing? 
All right. Well, it's good to have you all here. I want to get right down to it uh, because this is so terribly important. We can get to kind of celebrating our birthday a little bit later, but I want to go right into it. Okay. And like I said, right now we are trying uh, to get a uh, the Senate committee to push a bill through, right? To, to get a bill established to try to push it through. The chair is uh, Senator... Marco Leas, I, I believe that's how you say his last name. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. And I'm going to show you uh, what you have to do. And it is super easy. So I'm hoping that everyone will do it with us so that we can get this bill pushed through. Okay. So a lot of us are busy, don't have the time to go to Olympia for a whole day. But this is just as powerful just as important as making your voice heard, okay? And I'm just going to read this, and then I'm going to go through how to write this, this, this quick note. We need you to write a short email to Marco Lass, the chair of the Senate Transportation Committee, asking him to move on our frequent transit standard bill, okay? Now, what that transit standard bill says is, there's a study that's been done that says only 7% of Washingtonians have frequent transportation, right? And this isn't a good thing. And so we're advocating for uh, the Senate to work on this, right? And to increase it by several percentage points every year, right? With these markers that are set so that we can get to <laughs> not single digits, but more, you know, about 50 to 60%, I believe, by the time we're, we're done with this, right? So we know uh, when you think transportation is a linchpin of a lot of different things, right? You need uh, adequate transportation to get to work, to get to doctor's appointments, to do everything that you need to do. And everything costs more. And so folks need affordable transportation, but they also need adequate uh access to frequent transportation. That's also very important, and that's often left out, right? And so what that does is it gives people more opportunity, all right? So we need we need your help. Uh, please write a letter to uh, Senator Marco, uh, who is the chair of the Senate Transportation Committee, asking him to move on our frequent transit standard bill. You're going to just email it to jeremy.nap at leg.wa. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the chat here and copy Senator Mark Marco on the email. Super easy. We're going to do it uh, with you uh, so that you have it. Okay. I'm going to have to put that here because my chat is acting up. Okay. So you're going to send it here to jeremy.nap at leg.wa.gov. And you're also going to send a copy to marco.liias at leg.wa.gov. So let me go ahead and put that in there also. All right. Now, what do you say you say? Oh, let me go ahead and bring on Jewel Sampson. <laughs> Shepard Sampson. All right, if y'all don't know, Jewel Shepard Sampson hails from Kitsap Black Student Union. She's an advocate and champion for children all across Kitsap County. She is tireless. She continues to do the work. She has just secured a grant from Front and Center to continue to do that work. She will be taking kids to Olympia on February 20th. February 15th, you will see the Black Student Union putting on a display to celebrate Black History Month. Also, the Black Student Union was able to get the mayor to sign a proclamation proclaiming Saturday, February 4th, as Transit Equity Day, Rosa Parks' birthday. She is tireless, she is accomplished, and she is just getting started. Jewel Shepard Sampson. All right. So let me get back to where I was here. So here's the template. You just fill in your details. Dear Senator Leas, I, I am just butchering that name. I apologize, Senator. I am Marwan Cameron, 
the executive director of Gather Together Grow Together, a nonprofit that provides transportation in Kitsap County. With only 7% of Washingtonians having access to frequent transportation in the state and 5% in Kitsap County, it is imperative to get this bill introduced and passed. We are also a member of the Front and Center Transportation Working Group and stand in solidarity to other organizations, I should say with other organizations, and individuals who are in dire need. We're excited to learn that you are working with Front and Center on a bill to set statewide standards for transit service. But we understand the bill hasn't dropped. We think this issue deserves airtime in front of the committee. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to help get this bill introduced and passed. Transit is a critical part of a more equitable and accessible community. Best regards and your name and organization. Let me go ahead and bring Jewel on. How you doing there, Jewel? All right. Okay, I'm going to try to not log off. <laughs> so this is in the description uh, of the podcast. So you have it there. If you want to go ahead and copy this letter, I'm going to go ahead and change this to my name, of course. Ooh, Gather together, grow together, okay? I've introduced myself here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Add that up. This is how easy this is. I'm going to highlight all of that. Boom. Does this look good, everyone? Yeah. Okay. Let's go yes. ahead and open up an email here. We're going to go ahead and paste it. Now, lucky for me, I've got this right here. Bam. Go ahead and copy that. And remember, you're going to CC a copy to Senator uh, Marco there. Bam. And if we were going to put a, a subject in here, what would we call this? Transit House Bill? What do you guys think? Uh, yes, I, I think that that would be appropriate. Um, maybe the maybe the sub yeah the subject the house bill the number. Well, it doesn't have a number yet, as far as I know. Oh, it has a okay. That's part of the challenge okay. is right getting it into the mm -hmm. to be sponsored. Maybe request. Yeah. All right, send. That's it, y'all. Five minutes, not even that. It is so important that mm -hmm. we try to take uh, advantage of this and that we advocate for this, right? Uh, if you were just tuning in to our city council coverage, you know that uh, city council is going to be putting forth uh, Sunday transportation. It's going to start in August, but it only is going to be on demand and it's going to be for Route 217 here in Kitsap County. And it's one of the main arterials. My concern with that is, while that is a start, how do people that aren't on the main arterial get to the main arterial to get to where they're going, right? So that still is a challenge. So if you're up on McWilliams or somewhere else, I don't know exactly where the route is, but we will be covering that, um, then that is still going to be an issue, right? And so people are effectively trapped on Sundays unless they have money to, you know, get an Uber, get a cab called G2, or unless they have friends or family that they can get rides from. There's no other transportation on Sunday. Again, as we shared on Saturday, one of our youth who is employed by us, unfortunately, even though the bus is free, his shift has to end at 6 p.m. because the last bus going to his house is at 6.30, right? 6.30 p.m. So if you are an adult and you have bills that you in housing, it, you, you can't get home. That's problematic, right? And that's why we need access to frequent transportation. Now, again, we're not going to stay on here long. Uh, Jewel, I know that your time is super limited. But is there anything that you want to say in particular about this bill or, you know, again, the need for frequent access? 
Um, no, not in particular. You've already touched on those points, but um, I think people sometimes don't really realize what they're missing um, disparity wise until they really need it. I think someone said their car broke down, they had to rely on transportation in this area in Kitsap. And they were just surprised like how much, like how limited they were to where they, <laughs> they literally were like, I'm gonna have to buy another car and I really don't have the money to do that. And they yeah. came from a bigger city, but even just getting on the ferry and going to Seattle it's much different over there than it is here. So and even just getting on the fair, we're going to push for, uh, we're going to push for those things that we're asking for that the community needs. All right. I appreciate that tremendously. Uh, did Kendra just drop off there? I just saw her. Stephanie, why is access to frequent transportation so critical and vital? To you. Can you hear me? Can you yep. Hear me? So. Turn it down. She's muted. Is she muted? So the biggest thing for me is for people with barriers. And like, like you said. in the ability to make appointments. Have people take children go to the stores, go to work, do everything that you kind of, that would normally take you a week if you don't have, if you have to deal with public in this area. All right. Unfortunately, we couldn't catch a lot of that. You were cutting in and out there. Uh, let's try uh, Rob. Okay, <clears throat> I would say that um, uh, reliable transportation uh, transit system, up on interior arterial. All the studies will tell you that working on the arterial is great to get there. That's not their problem. That is literally how that will play. Um, with that being said, I think that people need it. I mean to to get to a point in employment. I mean, we have a client that we transport. We have other clients that are, you know, at nine, 10 o'clock at night. How are you supposed to carry this if there's no reliable transportation and you don't have a car? You have no other. That's why, why this feels important. All right. I appreciate that. And let's see, we've got Kendra. Kendra. Uh, as someone who does use public transit, how important is it for you to have frequent access to public transportation? Uh, I go to a lot of places like right, like this is my last quarter for school important because a lot of buses go there a lot, and especially a parent, a single mom, um, you can't get to places like meetings or anything that's what's going on with your or anything. So it's very, very important. All right. I appreciate that. So you just got to hear just quickly, you know, different perspectives on why it's important. Again, uh, we're asking you to do this really quick thing. It's in the description. All you need to do is just copy, uh, for the most part, copy and paste the email just put your own credentials in there. You know, I'll show it again. Hit send. Send it to the senator. Uh, and copy uh, jeremy.nap there. It's all in the description there. And just please send that forward. Uh, this is the change that we need, not only here in Kitsap County, but for all Washingtonians. Again, the average is 7%. And we're at 5% in Kitsap County, right? Uh, so we got to fix these things. But again, I, I don't want to keep you. I just want to say thank you for your uh, support. Uh, and with that, I'm going to thank Stephanie, Kendra, Rob, and Jewel. I'm Arwan. This is The Conduit. We'll see you all next time. Thank you, everyone.